Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to discuss this tree matching problem from the tree algorithms section of CSES problem set. So let us understand what the problem says. Uh, so basically you are given a tree consisting of n nodes and a matching is a set of edges where each node is an endpoint of at most one edge. So you have to tell the maximum numbers of edges in a matching. So let me explain you through the example. Uh, let us take this example. So n is 5. So basically let's say you have chosen this 1 and 2 edge in one of your set. So you can't choose any other edge which is containing 1 or 2. So basically you would be left with options 3, 4. So let's say you have chosen now 3 and 4. So you can't choose 3 and 5 because 3 is already taken over here. So one possible scenario would be this one and another possible scenario could be like you choose only 1, 3. So here like your possible number of edges are 2 and here are 1. So you would return 2 as an answer because like you have to return the maximum number of edges possible in a set. So basically this is the about the problem. So basically I am going to solve this problem out like first of all like you could pause the video here and you could think out of a solution and uh, then you could like move move on. So basically like let's say you are let me make a tree little bigger so as for the better understanding. So let's say you, you are your tree is something like this. So basically I'm going to solve this problem out using DP on trees. So for every vertex like I will be having two options like whether to be included in my answer or whether to be not get included in my answer. So let's say and zero represents it's not included and one represents it's included. So let's say you start from the root its root. So let me so dp of root let's say it's not included. So what are the options left? So you could include this and you could include this. You won't be having any restrictions right? So you could include the neighbor one which is 2 and you could include this neighbor 2 which is 3 this is 3 and this is 2 so this state would be simply like this only like for any of this vertex you would include all of its neighbor in your answer because it won't be like if you would leave this edges like you won't include them then you would be losing the potential answer so basically like if you have to uh, like you have to get the answer for a particular this state so what you have to do is like you have to include all of its neighbors so this thing is sorted now we are left with how to resolve this dp of root 1 this is a little bit tricky so now let me tell you this so let's say you have to include this one so you are having only two possibilities here like you could include this with 2 and you could include this with 3 or you could include it with 3 or let's say you was uh, you were having like this 14 also and 15 also so like in all these 14 2 3 and 15 you have to choose one particular vertex and you have to match it with one and now you you would be including that particular edge with one and for the rest of these neighbors you don't have to like you have to include them in the, their subtrees only so what i mean to say is like let's say Let's say you like one possibility is you make this 1 and 2 as in as your potential answer. So 1 is matched with 2. So your answer would be dp of root 1 in this case. So 1 would be this and now for you for this subtree you can't include this 2. So you would pass this right. You need this state for 2. And for dp of 3, 
so for three now you are done with this part and you are left with this part so you could include this three in its subtree because now it won't be bound bounded so this is for the case like if you have included this one and two as your potential answer you think like matching one with two would give you the better answer so now let us assume like you try to match it with three so what you would do like one plus dp of three zero because now your three can't be matched with other vertices because it's already occupied with this one because this is already matched with this one and now for two like you could consider it with the other other uh, edges in it subtree so two is not having any bonding condition so basically like for solving this thing like if it was having the n neighbors let's say it was having n neighbors so you would be doing this for every one and you would be taking out the maximum out of it right it would be more um, like clear after watching the code out but you have to take out this maximum out of all these neighbors you have to do it for every neighbor so like i will be telling you the optimal way of doing it through the code only but like you just have to like uh, uh, remember these two things like for every state you are having two possibilities to include or not include if you are not including that particular vertex then you could include all of its neighbors right because they won't they are not bounded with that particular vertex so in this case like you would be including all its neighbors and if let's say that particular node is included so it's included then it means like it needs one more uh, node to uh, get its edge in included in that particular set so basically like if let's say like you have included this one and two so basically so this one would be there for one and two and for two like you can't include it in its subtree edges so dp of two zero would be there and dp of three one because now three could be included with any like three four or three five any of uh, that would of that sort would work so basically like for one two this is one of the possibility like if you decide to pair it with one with three because you could pair this particular vertex only with two or three so you have to check for every uh, every possible neighbor which is there for a particular node so now first of all like i check for one and two then i check for one and three so one and three also like if you decided to include it with three so one would be there for one three and then three can't be included with its subtree so three is uh, dp of three zero would give me that and dp of two one would tell me like two now two could be included with any of the nodes in its subtree so dp of two one would give me that particular answer and for all of its neighbor let's say here there were two only let's say if they were having any n neighbor so you have to do this thing and you have to return the maximum out of it so if that's clear so now let me show you the code what i have written to solve this problem okay. so basically like here is this n what i am taking and n minus one are the number of the edges given to me i am taking the edges and then i am storing it in an uh, vector named as v you could consider as an adjacency uh, adjacency vector or matrix whatever th you think and then I'm um, now as I told you like there are like two possibilities only like if my I'm making my root as one because it, since it's a tree it would be always connected and there won't be any uh, cycle so basically so I am starting from the root root as one so for one like I am having two possibilities whether to include or not to include so zero and one are there as in potential because like at passed it as is included as zero or one so i'm storing it also like i had declared this dp matrix uh, because like 2 into 10 to the power 5 nodes are maximum possible so this is the uh, 2 into 10 to the power 5 plus 1 i had taken my dp state uh, dp para, uh, dp parameters so basically now let me show you the code so basically i am also passing this parent so as to not get involved in a particular cycle so just i am passing this parent out so basically like if i am checking like if my dp of vertex is included is not equal to minus one then i am returning that it's simply memorization 
so let's say if it's not included so for every of its neighbor i am going to in like i am including that neighbor and i am increasing that into my answer and i am storing into that dp uh, matrix which i have taken and i am returning that answer and if let's say it's included so that uh, particular vertex has to be included so what i am doing like as i told you like let's say there is that as you remember like one two was there so it means like i have to include uh, like first of all like i am taking that um, i am uh, pre storing uh, like i am taking the summation of neighbor of one which means like i am including all of my neighbors and then let's say if uh, let's say i am matching with one and two so i am subtracting that particular value so dp of neighbor one i am subtracting that particular value out of it and then i am adding that particular vertex as in not included so basically let 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 me show you this thing so basically for let's say like if dp of 1 4 was also there here so that would be like 1 plus dp of 4 0 plus dp of 2 1 and dp of 3 1 right similarly let's consider like you are having this 4 also so dp of 4 1 would be there and dp of 4 1 would be there so as you could see like this is dp of 3 1 and dp of 4 1 dp of 2 1 and dp of 4 1 only like like if you get this dp of 2 1 plus dp of 3 1 plus dp of 4 1 let's say it's equal to x so what you could do here you could replace it with x minus dp of 2 1 right similarly you could replace here x minus dp of 3 1 and similarly you could replace it here x minus dp of 4 1 right so that's what i am pre calculating here as you could see in the code this is what i am pre calculating so dp of neighbor one because like it would be stored in my particular uh, this dp matrix so dp of neighbor one i am subtracting and then for that particular neighbor i would i won't be including it because like if one two is included then i i would be considering two subtrees without including true because it's already included so tree matching neighbor zero would give me that and then i am storing that into my dp uh, matrix which i have declared above so basically and then i am returning my result over here so basically like this is what you have to do in this problem and let me tell you about the time complexity since every node is visited only n number of times so the uh, time complexity would be order of n because of the memorization and the space complexity would be n into 2 because like there are uh, n number of nodes um, in our case like it would be 2 into 10 to the power 5 into 2 so this is what about the space and time complexity and in case you are having any problem relate any doubt related to this problem then you could ask it in the comment section and you could join my telegram group also like we have a very good discussion over there i used to post the react react interview problems and uh, ds interview problems my interview experiences uh, as in on my uh, on my telegram group and do hit and like the video if you love my content and do subscribe to the channel it would give me huge motivation to build such kind of videos for you so thanks for watching bye